Hi, I'm Jeff Fear from End Performance, part of the high performance team here at Hyundai Australia. Today we're going to talk about the i30N and its aerodynamic aids. From the front we start with the lower splitter. Underneath it tucks to an air disturber and its job is to upset the air under the car and actually pull the heat out of the engine bay. If you look under the car, right through the floor pan, it is as flat as possible with covers and that's job is to get a low pressure under there to suck the car down to the ground to help with the aerodynamic. Then we come to our brake ducts. On this side we have a air in brake duct, on this side another disturber. Tucks the air past the wheel, again sucks the air out of the wheel. That gets the heat out of the brakes as well. Then we move to the rear of the vehicle. On the rear of the vehicle the highlight is the dual blade rear wing. This actually creates a lot of downforce on the rear of the car. It was tested extensively in, in Korea in their wind tunnel. From here we move down to the canards, which actually reduces drag on the back of the vehicle. Then we come down to our lower diffuser, which is a key feature for styling, and it also again creates downforce on the back of the car. Overall, the aerodynamic aids from the front splitter to the rear diffuser through the rear wing all serve a purpose. They all have a function. They're not here to just look good. It actually creates this into a genuine hot hatch. <laughs>